YouTube at Seablaze Lobbies. So about a day ago, I got a comment from DG333Hacker. Uh, he had commented if I can make a video on how to jailbreak your PS3. So that's what I'm doing today. And like I've said in previous videos or even in the description, if you leave a comment or inbox me of a tutorial or video you would like to see, then I'll try my best to make it. And, you know, you guys have to help me get ideas so I can make the video. And, um, <clears throat> so this is the tutorial. Okay, you need a USB drive. It doesn't matter uh, what size. Preferably a 4 gigabyte would do. And then you're going to make a folder called PS3. And then you just open up that folder, make another folder and update. These have to be in all caps. And then in the description, I'm going to provide you a link for the jailbreak. This is the 3.55 jailbreak. And later on, on the tutorial, I'm going to explain why it's 3.55 and not 4.40 or anything else. So let me switch to my PS3. But before I do that, I'm going to go ahead and just review this so you get the concept. So you gotta have a um, USB. You, you make a folder PS3, PS in all caps, and then three. And that update all caps. And then you just drop it in like this. You don't have to rename this or anything. Okay, so now I'm gonna switch to my PS3. Hello YouTube, and we're back to the PS3. So you just put in your USB drive, you go over to your settings menu, and then you go to system update. You go to update via storage media. And you click it, it'll scan, and then it'll come up with a 3.55 Kamol jailbreak. And the reason I have 3.55, and I am not going to release the 3.41 or 3.42, is because the other two are fake, and they will not work. <coughs> it puts you in demonstration mode, and although it does give you the install package files, it will not actually let you install Comgenie's Awesome File Manager, Multiman, or any kind of homebrew. Uh, what it does is just put you in demonstration mode and makes it seem like you have a jailbreak by giving you that install package files feature. But like I said before, it does not work. And just for an example, if you go to Walmart or anywhere where it displays the PS3, and if you back out to like the menu I am now, it'll actually say demonstration on the side or demonstration mode. And you can actually find the install package files. It's the same thing that uh, PlayStation uses to display the products at a store. And I am sorry to say this, unfortunately, but it's completely true. And, I mean, if you really want to, I guess you can still look for one. But I'm here to tell you that you're just wasting your time. And there is another way, if you do have a PS3 that's past 3.55, you can go online and buy an E3 flasher. They're about 80 bucks, or you can just buy you a 3.55 or under PS3 yourself. Uh, those places, you can either find one on eBay, you can find this on eBay, and you can find this on uh, www.craigslist.org. Or you can actually find a jailbroken PS3 there as well. But if you just want to buy an E3 flasher, you can just Google search that and buy it offline and you can have it shipped to your house. I would honestly prefer the PS3 E3 flasher because not only it downgrades your PS3, but it prevents any kind of way for your system to be bricked. So that's a plus because if you just buy the PS3 and jailbreak it yourself, you still have that possibility of it getting bricked. So, like I said, um, it's probably better if you do get an E3 flasher for a jailbreak. <coughs> because you can downgrade or upgrade to any firmware without worrying about it getting bricked. And that's, I guess, the end of my video. I'm going to give a shout out to my buddy Relentless underscore Ray7. You can Twitter him at BigSexy2752. He does a comedy kind of theme for himself. So, yeah, I'm sure you guys can make him happy, and maybe his followers can watch my videos. And uh, stay tuned for more mods. See Blaze Lobbies over and out.